I'm about to learn y'all that old school hog head cheese. Let's get it, dude. Now we're bringing that water to that rolling ball, dude. We got some Boston butts. We're gonna put that in there. We got them little pig feet. We're gonna put that in there. Now we're gonna break down that head a little bit so it all fits in the pot and all that, that good fat gonna render down and that's what's gonna make it all come together. We wanna. Now by burning the whole head, dude, that's what's gonna give up that fat. But look at it, there's a lot of meat, a lot of fat. So then you ain't gotta use that old, that old Cirto jelly to make it come together at the end. So we're gonna break this down real quick, get it in the pot, and we're gonna burn that for about two hours. That old jowl meat, boy. We're bringing that to that rolling ball. We got that Holy Trinity, copious amounts of garlic. Got some whole and chopped up. Get all of that in there, get it all. Get that out of here. Now I like my fromage couchon, very, very hot, dude. Here's that secret sauce, it's coming out. Gonna give it a nice color, dude. And hit it with the two-step. We're gonna let this burl two hours and make that juice, dude. It's been about 30 minutes, dude. We got it to that rolling ball. I like to take them big chunks of garlic and mash them as I see them. Put it right there on that old snout, dude. Check that out. Get over here, your big piece of garlic. That's what it makes it so good. Smash it down. But anyway, look at this. You see that on the top right here? That's what makes the gel. To make it gel together. Kind of like a fruitcake, dude. Boy, yeah, I know some fruitcakes. Here you go, watch that. Just like that. You smash that old beautiful garlic. Mm, mm, mm. That's gonna be money, dude. Look at them old ears done folded back. Got it. Get your snout on the water. Get out of here. Oh, this is beautiful, dude. Getting excited. Woo, I'm getting excited now, dude. Look at that right there. That old fat is peeling off that nose. Look at that grease on the top. That's what's gonna keep it all together right there, dude. This is gonna be money. I'm excited about this, dude. Give it a little check, dude. It's been about two hours. Cool! We done burrowed the squeal off that sucker. Let's kill that fire. And we're gonna pull all of this out. Look at that falling off the bone, dude. Look how beautiful that is right there. Woo woo! Put all that big meat out of there. Look at them old jowls right here. Look at that head. Look at the little feet, dude. Oh, yeah, brother. Get all that out now. We're gonna debone all that. We're gonna get, look right here. We're gonna get that meat off the back of that head right there. And we're gonna debone everything. And then we're gonna put it back in that pot and make that hog head cheese, dude. Dude, look how rich this broth is. That's what's gonna make that cheese, dude. So let's get to deboning, T-Bar. So we got it all deboned, dude. So we get it out like that. You want to cut it really, really fine. Now you could put it in one of them processors, but I don't do that, dude. Give it the old, the old chop. You can even smash it down if you want to. Boom. And we're gonna put this right back in that pot and keep cooking it down. Want that meat really fine, dude. That's tender like your little boyfriend's hands, dude. dude. We got that fire back on, dude. We're gonna chop all this up and add it right back to the pot, dude. Boom. Whoop, don't spill none of that good head meat. Get close on that, dude. Check that out. Oh, yeah, that's what's gonna make that cheese. Look how pretty that is already. We got plenty more meat. Oh, yeah, that thing's coming along good. That old cutting board taking a beating today, dude. Add that in there. Got it nice and hot. 
I like a lot of meat in my hog head cheese. Fromage de couchon, dude. Oh, Grandpa be proud now nah, going back to scratch, dude. Check this out. Come in here. Look at the meat. This is gonna make the whole head cheese fire, dude. We ain't finished yet. Them green on your arms, that parsley, dude. Let's get them chopped up. Nice and neat like that. Same time, T boy. Right into the goodness. Them parsley, them green on yarn. That's gonna give it a little color in your cheese, dude. Or oh, we might add a little more. Give that a little stir in there, dude. We're gonna let it go for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna start tasting it. And when we get it like we like, we're gonna put it in them little bowls, dude. Look how pretty that cheese is. It's been about 30 minutes. Let me give it a little try on a cracker, dude. Mm. That's great money right here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's start putting it in them little bowls, dude. Just like that. We're going to let that sit. Get to room temperature. Then we're going to put that in the icebox overnight. Then we're going to bring you back when we dump that cheese out. And definitely... Put that cheese on a cracker, dude. Wow, that's awesome right there. Whoo. Boom. Check that out, dude. Boom. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at them green onions. That parsley in there, them big cloves of that garlic. Oh, bro. You know this is going to be straight. Look how pretty that is with that green in there. We got them all plated up, dude. We're gonna let them get to room temperature. Then we're gonna put them in that ice box overnight. And while they sit, we gonna get lit, dude. It's the next day, dude. Let's check that ice box. Cool hog head cheese. Y'all check that out, dude. Y'all ready? Shoot. Let's see what that looks like, dude, on that inside of that old cheese. Look at that right there, that meat. Boy, you know what we're gonna do with that whole head cheese. Put that on a cracker, dude. Mmm, mmm.